let's give this next one a shot, everybody. So if we're beginning every problem with the same strategy, which is again, reading that question first, it's saying here that if a crayon is selected at random, what is the probability that it is green? So what is the probability that it is green? Everybody, what are we trying to calculate? Are we trying to calculate the probability of one event happening? Or are we trying to calculate multiple events happening? Correct, just one event, exactly. So we want the probability that it is green. So again, the probability of getting green is going to be the number of ways that we can get a green crayon divided by all crayons in this case. So with that, let's just go ahead and do some very straightforward arithmetic. Everybody, when we read, it says at an art box or an art box contains 10 crayons, of which four are green and six are red. So how many green crayons do we have, my friends? Correct, we have four. So we'll write four up top. And then when we're talking about all of the crayons, how many crayons do we have? Correct, it's gonna be 10, not 20. It is 10. Because we have to read here, and when we read it says, the art box contains 10 crayons. It has 10 crayons. Of those 10, you have four that are green and six that are red. Everybody, what's four plus six? Yeah, four plus six is 10. So this is just verbiage here. It's just context there. Yeah, no worries if we went too fast. It's all good, it happens. But it says we have 10 crayons, four of them are green, six are red. So it is 10 total crayons. And so we have 10 in that denominator right there. And once we have four over 10, like we've always seen, we know that if we can simplify it, we absolutely should. Everyone, four and 10 are both divisible by what? Correct, both divisible by two. So we'll do that. Four divided by two and 10 divided by two. Four divided by two, that's gonna give us two. And then 10 divided by two, that's gonna give us five. And so the correct answer here will be two fifths or two over five. And so uh, Nadesha asking, hey coach, so we don't touch the six at all? We do, we did use the six, but in terms of calculating all the crayons together. So the 10 was already given to us, but if it wasn't, you would still get the 10 by adding the four and the six together. So all crayons, when we think about all crayons, we have four green and we add that with six red and that's how we get 10 total. And that's where that 10 comes from.